why hello everybody it is I Ua son of my father and today we're going to be making an Iron Man helmet you'll see it'll be awesome let's get started also a shout out to a J fudge for joining the notification squad for this project you'll be needing some cardboard alrighty guys so basically what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting out of a rectangle of cardboard that is as tall as my head and as round as my head then I cut it out. Then you can draw a face. And if you haven't caught on by now, we're making the Mark 1 helmet. Just what you asked for. Cut it out and now you have a nice, beautiful face. Then you can draw the little cheeky thingy on the side. You draw one though, because then we can just take this and flip it over to the other side and it'll be the same shape and everything. And you can cut those out too. Now fire up the hot glue gun. Curve the mask. Helmet. Thing. You can use that heated up hot glue to glue the two ends together. Then you can use a series of cardboard strips to begin to shape the dome of the helmet. Guess what? I just came up with a brilliant way to fill in the rest of this helmet. And that is, it's a genius, well, let me explain further. It's genius, but it might not work. So can you call it genius? I don't know. Whatever. We're going to take a balloon and stretch it over the top of the helmet and it's going to be cool. Or maybe it just won't work. We'll find out. But as it just so turns out, that doesn't work. But everybody, here I am a week later and I have a brilliant idea. Instead of using like foam or a balloon like I was planning on doing, what I'll do instead is use some paper mache to cover up the dome. And if I do this right, it'll look sort of like a hammered metal type of look. So it'll look really cool. So in case none of you guys know how to make uh, paper mache, what you do is you just mix up some water, 50% water and 50% Elmer's glue. Uh, and then you just uh, apply it with a sponge brush to uh, wherever you need to apply it. And then uh, you just do the paper mache, you use like newspaper or any type of paper, and you just put that where it needs to go. And so for this, uh, what we actually might have to do is hold it upside down as it dries so that it doesn't like get dented. Uh, unless there actually is a dent in the helmet, then I will purposely put a dent in there. So at this point I've finished the paper mache at the top and I'm using some hot glue to uh, do the weld joints that are all over the helmet that you can see in images everywhere. For before you actually finish up the weld joints all the way to the top of the helmet, what you should do is you should take a dowel rod, sand it down something like this, and also take some EVA foam and use it to make the hinge that is at the top of the helmet. So the helmet is almost done, all I need to do now is put the inside eyelids on the inside and I'm doing that by taking some cardboard, putting it on the inside, uh, tracing the eye itself and then extending the edge of the eye inwards a little bit so that I get that eyelid effect. So as you can now see, I have glued in the cardboard, I don't know what you call them, eyelids maybe, uh, eye brows, eye shallows, I don't know, these things, and it looks pretty cool and now we're all ready for painting. However, before painting you want, may want to take some masking tape and uh, patch up any imperfections. As you can see, I've done so gloriously right here alrighty guys so as you can see here I have painted it uh, but to make it a little bit more realistic looking I think what I'll do is I'll mix up some brown paint uh, and just dry brush it in some areas to make it look rusty So 
So as you guys can maybe see here, I have dry brushed the entire thing and I'd say it looks pretty good actually. The brown gave the desired rusty effect, so that's good. Uh, I got what I wanted there and I'm pretty sure that it wraps up the project. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Cardboard Craft. If you'd like to buy some of my merch, I'll leave the link to that down in the description below. If you want to check out some of my other projects, be sure to do that. I've made other things like uh, Captain America's Shield, Thor's Stormbreaker, and all sorts of other cool stuff. And as always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.